Today we will see what is Microsoft Visual Basic 6 ID. This is an introduction video to VB6 ID for complete beginners. So let's get started. Visual Basic is a programming language which is used to create Windows based applications. It is also called event driven programming. For example, when we click a button, it is called an event and on that event, we can program any action that we need to perform. VB6 ID or the VB6 editor where ID stands for integrated development environment is a software which provides us all the necessary tools and required resources at one place to create an environment for quick and easy development of form based graphical windows application software. VB6 ID basically consists of these 8 components Title Bar Menu Bar Tool Bar Tool Box Form Design Area Project Explorer Properties window Form Layout window On starting VB6, you will get the new project window. Here under new tab, you can see all the available types of applications we can create. If you want to open any previous project you were working on, you can open it from existing or recent tab as well. I will go with standard exe to create my application. Let me give you a brief intro. This is title bar. It displays project name in which you are currently working in. Then comes the menu bar which is typically the same as other softwares you are used to work in. Things to focus in menu bar are make project.exe under file option is used to create .exe or application file of your project to run it as an individual app without VB6 ID code under view option to open code window. Other highlighted options are the windows you can switch to. You can add different types of forms and modules under project option. Format option helps in arranging the controls onto the form. Debug and run both are used to compile and execute our program. Menu editor under tools is used for creating menus for MDI forms. Now comes the toolbar. It provides quick access to commonly used commands and buttons from menu bar. The play button over here is used to execute our program. Toolbox. It contains all the controls or objects which are used to interact with the user. With these controls, the graphical UI is created for our applications. By placing them onto the form, it basically contains 21 controls but we can add more to it according to application's requirement. Form design area. It is the area where our form resides and this is where we create our app design or UI design. Project Explorer window displays the arrangement of forms and their folders inside the project file. You can open your form from here also. It also contains a view code button. Properties window lists the associated characteristics of selected controls or objects placed onto the form and also the properties of the form itself. There are some common properties for all the controls which are name, caption, height, width and back color. Here we get two options to view properties. One is in alphabetical order and another is characterized properties where similar properties are grouped together. When you select any property, a box below properties window displays a message explaining that property. Then comes form layout window which is used to assign the default position of the program's output. It displays a monitor containing a form inside it. As we change the position of the form inside it, the position of our final program also changes accordingly. Now let's create an app to understand how VB6 ID works. I will use 5 controls from toolbox for my app that are pointer, label, text box, frame and command button. The simplest of them all is the pointer as it has the same functionality as mouse cursor. It is used to drag other controls onto the form, resize them and arrange them. 
then comes the label as the name suggests it displays the text written onto it next is text box which is used to take input from the user at run time next is frame it is used to hold multiple controls placed onto it to move them together if needed command button acts like a normal button with which user can interact let us first create a basic structure of our program with the controls that we need then we will jump onto the properties of these controls here we are taking label 1 to display the heading of the program frame to hold our control together label 2 to display name to ask the user to enter their name into the text box then a command button is used to submit their name as the user clicks the button the label 3 will display the welcome message with the user's name from the text box the basic structure is ready now let's change the caption property i will name my app by going into the caption property of form in label 1 caption i will write details as we are going to ask the user for their name caption of label 2 is name command buttons caption is submit label 3's caption would be left blank text box has text property instead of caption property we will leave it blank as user will enter the name in it now let's change the font type of our controls by using font property of the required controls we will leave the caption of frame blank now it's time to fill some colors into our form. For this we are going to use back color property of all the controls. As we want to match the back color of label 2 and 3 with the blue color, we will use their back style property to do so. Here we have to set it to transparent. As you can see, changing command button's back color property doesn't show any changes in its colors. So here is another property that we need to change that is style property. We have to set it to graphical in order to change button's color. Our app is complete. We can run it but you can see it does nothing on pressing the button as we haven't coded anything yet. Double click onto the submit button a code window will appear with command buttons click function or we may call it as subroutine. We will type our code between these two lines to make our code a part of this click function. As we need to display our message onto label 3, we will use its caption property using period or decimal operator and assign it with welcome in double quotes as it's a character string. Then type ampersand to join text box text with it. Now if we run our form it works. Congrats, you have just created your first app in VB6. But wait, we haven't created a standalone app that you can share with your friends. To do so, just follow along. Go to File option in menu bar and click on Make Project.exe. Choose the location where you want to save it and you can give it a name too. Click OK and holy moly, you have your own app now which you can share with your friends too. If you enjoyed this tutorial, let me know in the comments. Doubts and suggestions are always welcome. Share this video with your friends. Press the like, subscribe, whatever button you may like for this video. Take care. See you until next time.